Question four, Liam throws a fair coin once. Now, fair coin just means it's a normal coin with the same chance of coming up heads as tails, so 50-50. On the probability scale, mark with a cross the probability that he gets a head. Well, I've just kind of said that it's a, it's a half. He's got, there's one head out of two possibilities, so therefore it's a half. Anne rolls a fair dice. Now, a dice is six sides, um, and it's important we we're thinking about Anne with a dice rather than a coin because uh, I make a simple mistake. On the probability scale, mark with a cross the probability she gets a seven. Now, a, a normal dice, it has got the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's no seven. So therefore, the probability she gets a seven is zero. There is no seven. Fred throws a fair coin and rolls a fair dice. List all the possible combinations for you the first one has been done. Well, it's quite simple. If he gets a head, he, he can get a one on the dice. Or he could get a head and a two. Or he could get a head and a three. Or he could get a head and a four. Or he could get a head and a five. Or he could get a head and a six. Alternatively, if he didn't get head on the coin, he could get a tail. So he could get a tail and a one a tail and a two, a tail and a three, a tail and a four, a tail and a five, and a tail and a six. And that's all the possibilities. Write down the probability that Fred gets an even, it gets a head and an even number. So he's got to both get a head on the coin and an even number. We'll do, let's just look above. Head, these are all the head ones, so we discard these. That's head and even, that's head and even, that's head and even. There are three possibilities. Out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's actually 3 out of um, 12 there. To simplify that, it's not asked in the, in the examination, but that clearly simplifies to a quarter if you wanted to. So that could also be written as a quarter, but um, you don't need to. And we're done.